Hello ladies and gents, this is Kana from the Gamer Section back with another review. For today's review is on Hellblade 2 for the Xbox Series X and S and PC. Hellblade 2 takes place in Iceland where you play as Senua. She is seeking revenge on the Viking raiders who devastated her homeland. The story takes place after the events of Helm. The difference between the last game to now is that she feels empowered and embracing her psychosis. What can I say about the presentation? The Cinematics is like an award winning movie. It's cool how that it opens up with the credits before you take control of Senua. The colors are dark and dreary and fits the violent tone. It also is cool seeing the reflections in the mud puddles as you're traveling. The character models are well detailed like seeing the blood on Senua's face to the tattoos of her enemies. The voice acting is cool and also especially hearing all the voices in her head as she moves around, solving puzzles and dealing with enemies. And you can feel what Senua is going through with her pain and trauma. The audio is superb and you have options like to hear like through the sounds through your headphones, your soundbar, and more. The music is top notch and it you know, fits the melodramatic beats of Hellblade 2. And also this game is presented in 30 frames per second and there's no screen tearing or stuttering. Now, surely this game will probably get a future patch where you can play this game at a higher frame rate. If you enjoyed the previous game then you definitely will love the sequel. Hellblade 2 is a third person action adventure game. If you played the first game, then you will get the gist of what this game is about. When it comes to puzzles, it's not as much as the first game. They revamped the combat system where it's all about tactics and fluidity. When it comes to combat, it is expanded with more moves that brings out the expanded combat with different styles including the time slowing mechanic to attack within quick strikes and more of different enemy types. When it comes to exploring, they expanded on that in the game where you go through different landscapes and uncovering a lot of hidden collectibles like hidden faces in different spots. The puzzles in the game is more so in the landscape of the game where you have to utilize your environment, which is actually pretty cool. The main flaw that I have within Hellblade 2 is the fact that this game runs at 30 frames per second. I understand that they wanted to make this game a great cinematic experience, but they could have added 60 frames per second mode to speed up the process in the game. That was disappointing. Another flaw that I have is that you can't change the button map like that in the game the way you want to, which they need to like make an update to that, but it's not that bad. I wish you can change the buttons where you can block using a different button instead of the right bumper. Which, like I said prior, you, you basically can, but it's not the way that you really want to, to your liking 100%. But all in all, this game is one of the best games that I've played this generation graphically. This has been phenomenal. For that, I give Hellblade 2 a 5 out of 5. Thank you for tuning in to the best place for independent gaming journalism and that's the gamer section. Be sure to hit the like button on the video and please subscribe to the channel.